solidly are, are professing the power of the internet. Do you still believe in the power of the internet? Yeah, I mean, for sure. For sure. I mean, uh, there's no such thing to, to, in my opinion, flyering clubs and handing out flyers. People find out about parties on the internet. People find about the, their music on the internet. So absolutely, the internet rules all, all the music industry right now, for sure. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna profess, uh, or, or I should say confess, I'm gonna confess to you the word on the street. Um, of all the digital distribution in the world, Larry McCormick is, Larry McCormick is honest, exact as honest, is that true? Yes. You wanna tell me about your, your delving into and the success you found with your, your digital distribution? Well, I mean, basically, um, Electro Digital, it took me a long time to give in to MP3s. You know, I hold, held on to vinyl, and I held on to it too long because I was running a website, Electro Wax, where I was manufacturing the records myself on my record label and me as an artist. So I was able to sell 150 records and still make a decent amount of money, you know, and still at the same time get other music out there, other electro records. Um, but it took me a long time to give in to MP3s. I tried as long as I could to hold on to vinyl. Claudio is also in the same company. We were vinyl junkies and we tried. <laughs> but um, what I wanted to do with uh, electro digital, I, I actually had a site ready a year before and it was just going to be where I was going to distributors and basically using the system that was in place but right when I was about to launch it I said this is not right this ain't going to work because we're going to go into a system that doesn't really care about our music you know we're going into a system that is not going to do anything for our music so what I decided to try to do is kind of along the lines of Electro Alliance I tried to do that with an MP3 shop and the way that we built the system is the artist signs up and the artist controls their page, they control their music, they control their prices. They can see right there when they log in exactly all their sales up to date. As soon as somebody buys something, it shows it on their page and it shows how much I owe them. So, um, and you know, I've been paying artists a decent amount of money that they wouldn't have gotten paid otherwise. If they would have put their music on other sites, I won't name any names, they wouldn't have seen a penny and their music wouldn't have been promoted. So uh, with Electro Alliance now it has become a blog. It's no longer a message board. And it's become more of people I work with. It's become uh, like a newspaper or a source of information for the people that are working directly with me, which is, you know, a decent amount of people. So um, that was the idea behind it, and it's creeping up. It's going a little bit slower than I w wished, but, you know, I, I see a lot of potential in it, a lot of potential. Do you feel that you are in any way a torchbearer for at least a portion of Miami Bass's history? Miami Bass, um, I feel, I feel, I feel that I have a part in it as far as the the new uh, uh, interest in it, but in a different way, more of, of electronic music side of things, you know. Um, I play a lot in Miami, so I'm influenced by Miami. And uh, I've always had a place in my heart for Miami bass. And um, at the time, uh, 2003 or 2004, I did a song called City of Bass. And what I did when I created that is I was like, if I was producing music during the heyday of Miami Bass, what would I have done? So I kind of pr approached it that way. And the song became, you know, a little bit like more popular than I, th I thought it was going to be. So you know, from time to time, you know, I delve into that area, but bass, 808, from day one until now, and always will be a part of my music, because that's what, that's what it energizes me, 
that's what I like about music is I like low end bass so um, what my part in it I, I, I don't know I really don't know what to say but I like to think that you know I'm keeping it uh, in people's minds and keeping it alive in a certain way and putting my own twist on it.